Welcome to tutorial 6, creating apps with Xcode and Swift. We are going to create an app that takes us to a new view controller and takes data that was in the first view controller and brings it over to the other side, to the next view controller. We're going to open Xcode, create a new Xcode project, single view application, we'll call this Segway app, set to Swift, and we'll just save that in the dex desktop. And in tutorial five, we already did a bunch of this, so we're going to do the same exact thing. We're just going to do it a little bit faster. In main.storyboard, we're going to turn off auto layout, and we're going to take our first view controller and we're going to embed in a navigation controller. Then this is going to handle the back button and the navigation to the next view controller. And now we are going to drag in a new view controller onto here. And we are going to need a button on the first view controller and we are going to need a label on the second view controller. And because we're going to write a phrase, we need this to be long enough uh, to read. So, and then we're going to click on the button and we're going to control click drag to the second view controller and use push. Okay, we're not going to do this today, but it is possible to name your segue right here with a segue identifier. You could call it whatever you want, and this is useful when you need to be able to tell um, your view controller which segue you're using. So, but today we're not going to do that. Okay, next. We now have a view controller that goes with this. Uh, a view controller.swift file that goes with this view controller. But our second view controller doesn't have a Swift file to code in. So to do that, we're going to go to File, New, File, and we're going to choose Coco Touch Class, and we're going to call this Second View Controller. Make sure this is set to View Controller, UI View Controller, and Swift. Okay, I'll just create it. It's going to put it in a folder that probably is a good place. And now we're in the uh, second view controller. So now we have a new file. The only problem is that this file is not connected to this view controller. So to do that, click on this view controller, go to this, it's called the identity inspector, and type either find it in here or type it. Sometimes it doesn't always show up and sometimes you have to click out and click back in. That can be frustrating. Okay, so now that we've chosen that as the second view controller, this is now called second view controller. So anything that we type in here is going to uh, reflect or act as the code for this view controller. So before we get too far, I would like to um, create this label as an outlet because what we're going to do is take some code and do a segue over to this one and we're going to make the label say something so we're just going to call this my label one but we're writing this in the second view controller and connect also we need to prep ourselves to receive the phrase that we're going to give it. So we're going to create a variable and we're going to call this received phrase and we're going to say equal and we're going to let this become an open string which means that we can pass any phrase that we want into here. And that's it for view controller, uh, second view controller for now. Now we need to go and um, change the code in viewcontroller.swift. So I'm going to X out of this, not use the assistant editor. 
just so we have some more room. And we are going to create a new function that is our segue. So we're going to say override function, and then we are going to prepare for segue. So you just type prepare for segue, and it usually shows up right there, and our code is going to go in here. So what's our code? We are going to say let new view controller. We'll just do new view VC. And we're going to say that that is going to be the second view controller, which is going to be equal to the segue dot the destination view controller where we're going as the second view controller. And let's let the past phrase, so the phase, the phrase that we're going to pass through, be equal to something. So we're going to say uh, we made it to the other side, and um, we're going to say now that the new view controller, new VC dot received phrase which is what we already prepped on the other side received phrase is equal to the past phrase and that's it so now back to our second view controller here we need to now let this um, actually do the change. So we're going to say my label one dot text is going to be equal to and what's it going to be equal to? It's going to be equal to the new phrase that we pass on and that's going to be the received phrase. Did I spell it wrong? No? Okay. And that is it. So because this thing takes forever to build, um, I'm just going to end the video here. But that's what it ends up doing. That's what it ends up looking like. So thanks for watching. The next video, I think I will be doing auto layout. Oh, here it comes. And we press it. And we made it to the other side. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.